Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about some things that you should be paying attention to if you are consuming more uh, packaged food recently. Um, sometimes when you're trying to meal prep, food prep, if you're not using fresh foods, whole foods, things like that, and you're not checking labels, you can actually be getting some artificial colors and other things in your food. Um, I'll share more about other like artificial sweeteners and things like that, but I really wanted to focus on artificial colors because these are in so many things and they can affect your system in a lot of negative ways without you even realizing it. I started actually paying more attention to artificial colors um, because I noticed that when my one of my kids would get candy that had artificial colors in it, bananas. And I was like, this is ridiculous because we don't get, you know, we don't do a lot of like candy stuff, right? And most of the time I actually order organic um, uh, candy from like Yum Earth. I really like that company allergen friendly they don't use any artificial garbage in their in their um, products so that's what I normally get and for so for example if my husband takes her for a little skateboard ride and they go to the gas station and we're like oh here's a package of M&Ms or something you know a little treat which is you know that's fun right that's fun to do something like that to get a little treat but she would go bananas bananas and I was like what is happening what's happening so because we don't get any of this stuff in our system normally and we just, I just don't have it around the house really, it's, it was super easy to pinpoint what it was and this is what I started paying attention to more and I always know that having artificial colors can actually impact your system in a negative way. Here's just some of the things, right? It can cause more gut issues, right? Cause some digestive issues, um, slow down your gut, mess with, you know, absorption, things like that. It can decrease your metabolism. It can cause some hormone issues. Some of these have actually been, um, some of these ingredients here are actually linked to like decreased sperm count. So for those of you working on fertility, that's kind of important, right? That's kind of important and other hormonal issues. So this is something when I work with women and I'll mention this too. So I'll put this link here. Um, when I, so for those of you that have not had um, the Dutch test yet and you're interested in that, when I do a Dutch test result and when I work with women in my 12 week challenge, I always tell them avoid this, avoid artificial colors, avoid artificial sweeteners, things like that. They're in so many things, right? <sighs> well, it's super important because if you're trying to get your hormones back on track, stuff like this can completely derail it completely derail it and this is oh I'm trying to eat healthier it says this this product has a lot of protein in it or this product has a lot of fiber in it or something like that great but if it's got a bunch of artificial crap in it it's actually can be causing more issues more harm more damage to your system than it is doing good yeah so I wanted to give a list of some things that these are all in and of course candy shows up on like every single one <sighs> Not that you can't eat candy, right? Like, I, I like candy. Um, now I have that song in my head. I like candy. Okay, anyway. But, uh, so you have to get candy or <laughs> treats or things from a um, company that does not use any of these things. Um, and, uh, you know, getting in. So I, I'm really picky about this now. I have food coloring that's totally natural from Watkins. I got it on Amazon. Sprinkles, right? My girls love to bake and play with sprinkles and stuff. I use completely all natural sprinkles. Um, I think I got those at Amazon. They'll have them at like a natural food store, right? I know the hard thing is sometimes is when your kids like to bake, like mine do, and they, they'll use like the entire package of sprinkles. And I'm like, oh my God, it was like $6 for like that one thing of sprinkles. And you went through the whole thing. <laughs> and like one thing, oh my God. <laughs> Hi Tara, I know it's late, it's so late. I kinda had a day, right? One of my, my middle, she took a spill skateboarding, so she's pretty scraped up. And she actually has a shiner, poor thing. Cause she just face planted on asphalt. I mean, she's okay, it's not funny. She's a tough cookie, but that's, whoo, we got a little off today, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Krista, my daughter had five minute grand mal seizure. Holy cow, following her first birthday cake smash where she ate hot pink red food coloring. I believe the colors caused the seizure. Wow, but the neurologist said they couldn't confirm or deny. Wow, yeah, so that's the thing. It's like, again, for kids, if you're super clean and pristine with a kid and then all of a sudden you get this garbage in it, 
you can go down a complete rabbit hole with any one of these. And these are like the top, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are like the top seven that are used. Um, and uh, so, so keep that in mind. I chose ones that are really common that you're gonna see in pretty much everything, right? Um, but so blue one, blue two, so gum, candy, beverages, cereal, gum, candy, drinks. This one actually is linked to potential allergies. Again, not, it's so hard to say because sometimes the studies that they do on them are not, right? They'll be like, oh, can cause tumors in mice, kidney tumors in mice or something. Well, who knows, right? Like, they're not going to just put this out there and they're not going to do studies on humans on this stuff, mm -hmm, right? Not going to happen. So, but just some things to pay attention to that are in your foods. And if you're feeling like you are off, if you feel like, gosh, at the end of the day, I'm, I feel off or I'm not as focused or oh, I'm really trying to focus on being really healthy and clean right now, or I'm cooking a lot, I'm going to the store and I'm cooking a lot more. A lot of us are doing that. Great. Check your stuff. The number one thing that I had to change that was harder for me was gum. I love gum. So I use um, totally natural gum now. Really picky about the gum I use. I do not use gum that you can get at the gas station. They don't carry it at the gas station. I actually order it on Amazon or I get it at, I did find a small pack of it at Target once. Um, otherwise I have to get it at like Fresh Time or the natural food store. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, blue one, blue two. These are common ones that are in a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> green three, check this out. Candy, drinks, like any type of beverage, right? You have to check these things. Meds, makeup. Yeah, makeup. They, oh, you might be thinking, well, duh, they're going to use color. It's makeup, right? Like you're, right? But these are toxic colors that they're using in makeup. So I only, I have switched over my makeup, right? Like sometimes to do all these things, it takes a while if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to overhaul my everything I have in my house. Yikes. Do it one thing at a time. Do it one room at a time. Start with your kitchen, what you're putting in your body. Then start with like your bathroom, what you're putting on your body. That's the way I like to kind of walk through it. Um, Christy, yes, yeah, super clean. She's four and a half now. Never had another seizure. Yeah, heavy test and normal. Okay, limited food colorings because of that experience. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's super scary when stuff like that happens. Yeah, but you never, like you never know. So you always have to check. So start with your kitchen overhaul your kitchen, go through your pantry, get rid of everything, donate things if you don't want them, you know, get as clean as possible with some of this stuff. It does make a difference in how you feel and how your body functions. Um, and then go after your bathroom, you know, <laughs> products in your bathroom and start switching things over one by one. Um, red three, again, meds, candy, bakery items and stuff. That's, that's a common red 40. So this is the most common one, red 40, most common one. Everybody's heard of Red 40, right? It's in like everything and anything. This was the small list. Um, and then you've got your Yellow 5 and Yellow 6. Again, baked goods, drinks, candy, cereal, meds, makeup, gum, all of it. Um, and some of these were actually linked to more decreased sperm count, stuff like that. So just a, just a quick list here of some things to pay attention to. Um, you get the primary colors and the green, the green 3. So easy way to remember, but again, if you're looking at labels, a lot of times they won't just say, you know, this or that. They might just say, you know, artificial and natural colors. Okay, well, there's the artificial colors in there then, right? It doesn't, it's not like the natural <laughs> cancels out the artificial part, the artificial's in there. So sometimes they'll say what it is in there specifically, and sometimes they won't. So it is important to check labels. It's also important to check labels all the time. I've had this happen to me where I found a type of food I liked. Um, I think it was a cracker the last time this happened. Um, I found crackers that I liked. I thought they were gluten-free. I thought they were a clean thing. I thought it was fine. So I got in the habit of going to the store and grabbing them off the shelf without looking. You know, if you trust a product, every now and then still check it because I started to get stomach issues and I was like, gosh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? they actually, the company got bought out by a bigger company. They changed the formula and they started adding gluten and I didn't know it. And they didn't change anything else in the packaging. <sighs> Frustrating. Yeah. So companies can do that. So always be aware of what you're getting unless you're working with a company that is guaranteed to be clean. Again, like Yum Earth. So for candy, again, I'm not sponsored by Yum Earth yet. <laughs> Just 
kidding. I don't know anybody at Yum Earth. <laughs> um, but I just like their stuff. Yum Earth. Gluten-free, dairy-free, uh, nut-free, allergen-free, and they do not use artificial stuff in their candy. You know, they've got like suckers and gummies and these little chocolate rocks and stuff. That's So that's what I do for Easter candy. Um, just a different way to, you know, so you can still have treats. You can still enjoy life. It's not that, oh, cut all the stuff out. You don't get to have things anymore. No, there's alternatives out there for you. And you can always make your own, of course, too. That's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I've uh, made candy, but um, just to be aware of. Be aware of what you're getting in your body and your system, and especially if you're on a med of some kind. You know, do they have to put a coloring in it? And, you know, just pay attention to what you're getting in your system and how your system's reacting. So for those of you that are really trying to work hard on hormone issues, gut issues, metabolism, everything right now, and you're still getting in packaged goods that have a lot of artificial stuff, you're making it harder for yourself. You're making it harder. So, yeah. Just some info I got for you tonight. Again, this is, it's really yummy stuff. It's really, it's really yummy stuff. It's called Yum Earth. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> okay, that's what I got for you guys tonight. <laughs> Other resources I have for you, of course, are my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, where you can pick it up there. My podcast, The Female Health Solution, you can subscribe to that. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, where you'll get to watch videos just like this and many, many more. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you later.